since German is, uh, or sorry, since English is a Germanic language, we're going to notice there are some similarities, but then there's some also major differences we want to watch out. So the first thing we're going to look at are cognates. Uh, cognates are when words are similar. So similar sounding, similar spelling, similar meaning. Then we're going to take a look at false friends, meaning even though they look like a word, you probably know in English they are not the same. So let's dive in, shall we? Um, one of the things you'll notice about German is that all German nouns are capitalized. And so this will be the German column, and I will reveal the English. So see if you can guess what this word is. Finger. Finger. <laughs> Form. Form. Hunt. Hand. So notice there's a difference in pronunciation, but spelling is the same. Kilo. Land. Land um, in German can also mean country or out in the country. Name. Park. Tempo. Wind. So that's a different um, spelling or a different sound. And then uh, so. Um, some that are not exact spellings that are good as cognates would be alle, America, Gruppe, Maus, und Preis. So good cognates. Now what about ones that look similar but are totally different meanings? These are false friends, and the false friends in German would be something like Fabrik, which means factory, but in fabric, in English, means fabric. <laughs> so here's one. Uh, der Rock does not mean rock, it means skirt. Um, die Limo is not a limo, it's a, a soda drink, carbonated beverage. Der Rat means advice, not the uh, no, not the rodent. This is my favorite one. <laughs> gift is poison. Geschenk is gift. So it's kind of a really funny one. If someone asks you in German or Germany if you want gift, you say no and run away. Uh, die Billion. So Billion is trillion in German. Milliard is the actual word for billion. So that's a little confusing when you deal with numbers. Um, bald is not bald, it means soon. De Roman is not a Roman, but a novel. De Pica um, is not a pickle, but a spot or a pimple. And then this one, Mist, is a manure, not um, mist, like you would think. The other thing you might notice in German are the stress shifts. So while a word is similar, the pronunciation is going to be different. So in English, you would say article, right? We say R is the emphasis. In German, it's article. So the second syllable tends to be, um, uh, the stress is shifted to the second syllable in German. So we say person in German, person. In English, flexible. In German, flexible. In English, system. In German, system. In English, habitual. In German, habituel. So similar, but the emphasis will be different.